One of the fundamental principles that you need to understand to be able to train your dog is the idea of luring your dog. Any kind of behavior or obedience that we teach most likely is going to stem from initially luring them into the position. Whether that would be luring them into the heel position, whether that is luring them into a sit, whether it's luring them into a down, or anything in between, as you can see, especially food-driven dogs, will follow that law to the end of the earth. And if you can capitalize on that, understand that, and use that to your advantage, there's not much that you can't train a dog, especially one as intelligent and as high drive and loves food as much as this guy. Boy. So how do you teach a dog to sit? It might seem simple, but let's break down the process. To do so, I recommend following a law mark reinforced base schedule to training. What that looks like is you start with something that is interesting to the dog, the law, the piece of food, and you law them into position. As soon as they hit the position, you mark it. I use a marker word, which is yes. Many people like to use a clicker. That lets the dog know that right thing you've just done there, that's great. Then I'm going to pay you for it, which is reinforced, which helps them display that behavior more in the future. So I would hold leer him up, yes. And offer the food, down. Principle works the same, sit, yes. And then pay, down, yes. Sit, yes, and pay. Beautiful, then you start bringing in the command as you're lowering the behavior of sit. You can then start to phase out the law because the dog has conditioned the command to the lowering of the behavior that has now been marked and reinforced so they know exactly what it is that you want. Bing, bang, bosh, you could teach your dog sit and most any other piece of obedience that you want to teach them. Now, how do you stop your dog from pulling like a freight train on the lead? And the good thing is it's absolutely doable and I've helped thousands of people do it. So let's look at the few quick steps that you need to take. First things first, you have to build up engagement. You need your dog to understand that under all circumstances, they look up to you for guidance and direction. Sneaky fact, if they can see you, they can't be in front of you. So a byproduct of that is that we're 90% there already. The tune-up drill is beautiful to work on this. Next up, we need to teach them what heel means. And that's where we get to do tons of fun, reward-based training of heel, luring, marking, shaping, leveling it up, bringing it out onto agility equipment and just having tons of fun. And last but not least, we put those two things together to help the dog understand exactly what it is that we do want with heel and obedience and exactly what it is that we don't want through engagement and communication. Put the two things together and you have a dog that will walk beautifully on a loose lead. And you can absolutely be one of the thousands of people that I've helped achieve that exact thing. How do you teach your dog a down? Well, it starts with the fundamental process of being able to lure your dog. This is the basis for nearly all pieces of obedience. A piece of food in my hand here, and my mate Sid is trying to get it. I can lure him into a sit. The principle for down is very similar. I'm luring him in, and then when he's in the position, I would mark and reward. Now, by trying to talk to camera and get all this in, it's a little bit complicated. So let's focus on Sid and give you an example. Sid down yes so as i'm luring him into the position i'm providing the verbal cue of down to condition that cue to the behavior of going into the down position when he gets into the down position i'm using my verbal marker of yes to let him know you've done a great job you can use a clicker for the same principle and as soon as i've marked the behavior the reinforcer comes in the piece of food you lure them into the behavior you mark it when they get there you provide the reward with those basic principles, you can teach nearly any piece of obedience your mind can come up with. 